Welcome back gamers, it's Roll Easy here, and today I'm back once again with another solo money glitch video. Guys, if you haven't seen the last video that I just posted, which was about a few hours ago, please you must go and watch it. You'll have a link down for it in the description, as well as a link at the end of the video. I'm telling you, it's a good thing to watch. Not only do I show you how to hit this glitch that we're about to hit again in this video, but I also show you what else you can do with it, like going invisible. Uh, you can, you know, take cars from story mode players. You can play as story mode players while online. There's many, many things. There's an RP glitch in that video. There's a lot of cool things that you can do uh, with that video. It's long, but I'm telling you, it is worth the wait. It's worth all the information that you will gain from that video. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I definitely go look at that before you look at this one. Because in this one, I'm going to run through it a bit quicker. It's more streamlined because I've already shown it once today. All right, but this is the single player to multiplayer glitch found by Fart Crew. So shout out to those guys and the Xbox One steps, which I will be using in this video. Uh, thanks to Spazin and Scuba. That is, you know, those are the guys that basically put the, uh, the steps out so that I can hit this glitch because when it first came out, it was not that easy. Okay, but this right here, the glitch we're doing here is the apartments glitch. You guys remember the director mode apartments glitch? Uh, where it transfers over that is what we're doing right here okay so i want everybody to be ready i'll show you guys how to set everything up but this is also how you transfer outfits and get all those cool modded outfits that you'll be see me wearing and stuff like that the way you do that is you got to set up the uh, second character's uh, components so i have a female character as my second one i set up her components and when i do this glitch they transfer over to the male character as modded outfits but you got to know what you're putting on so huge warning if you do this you will lose all the outfits from your first character, from your main character. All right, that's just how this glitch works. Uh, but if you have components on there for modded outfits and you still have them, it'll just make the modded outfits for you, okay? But uh, in this video, I'm mainly going to be showing you just how to do the money glitch. But doing these exact steps will also lead you to doing the, uh, the, the transfer for the outfits. Okay, it's the same exact glitch. So when I do this money glitch, the outfits transfer, you know, as well. So yeah, we're going to get started right here with the setup and, uh, and then we're going to go into the glitch, all right? Okay, so to begin with the setup, I went over to swap character and now I'm on my second character, guys. This is where the outfits transfer from and where the apartments transfer from. So what you want to do is you want to buy the three most expensive apartments in slots 4, 5, and 6. So check it out, right here on the top left of the screen. You see that? Slots 4, 5, and 6, I own all the Eclipse Penthouse Suites. That is how you get the most money. So you want to make sure that you purchase all those. So up front, you do need about, you know, two to three million dollars to really purchase all those apartments on your second character. So now what you want to do is swap character and I'm going to go back to my main character. This is the account that or the character that I want the money on, you know, to do the glitch on. So now that I'm back on my main character, I'm going to show you what you need to purchase on here, which are the three cheapest apartments. So right there, I have the three cheapest apartments. Now what's going to happen is, and remember, so it's four, five, and six. You can only put them in four, five, and six. If you don't have the money for the most expensive apartments on the second character, buy the most expensive ones you can, and you can still do the glitch. Get the cheapest ones on the main character. Remember, you share bank accounts. That's why this works. So once now I'm back on the main character, I'm just going to leave GTA Online, and now we're going to proceed with this glitch. So the, the character that you want to be last online with is your character that you want to get the money on, okay? And that character will lose all the outfits and everything, okay? So right now we go to online and then we jump into creator, okay? So now once we're in creator, this is where we start actually like really, you know, getting the glitch going. So we jump into creator. Now we're going to go and click on load creation and hover over published, okay? So we're at this point right here. I'm going to hover over publish. Now I'm opening up my dashboard. This I'm putting this in slow motion now, opening up my dashboard and I'm going ahead and I'm hitting go offline. I'm disconnecting the internet. Now I'm going to spam B to come back to the game and then spam A right away. And you end up at this little loading icon screen for about 30 seconds or so. Okay. Once again, I go really, you know, really slow in the other video. So I definitely recommend to go watch that one before you watch this one. Okay, so now once that 30 seconds is up and, uh, and that little loading icon thing stops going, you're going to get a little alert. Now, once you get that alert, you're just going to go ahead and accept it. Once again, I'm on Xbox. These are Xbox steps. PlayStation steps will be in the pinned comment down below. Okay, so check for that. They're, they're similar, but there's a few differences, okay? But it's actually easier on PlayStation. Now, 
once you get over to that alert, you're just going to simply go ahead and accept it right here. So I'm going to accept the alert. Now this is key, especially for Xbox. So go to create last team standing, hover over it, press start. Now go over to online and you're just going to hover over online right now. Now I'm going to my dashboard. This is all in slow motion, but this glitch is really quick once you get the hang of it. So I'm going into my dashboard and I'm reconnecting to the internet. So I'm hitting go online. I'm returning back to GTA and right now I'm just hitting A, A, A over and over again to try to get this GTA online screen to really come up with all my options. So now that I've, uh, well, you know, we're going to get that right about now, I think. Yep, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to hit play GTA online and right away go to invite only session and spam A. Spam the hell out of A really quick until you start, the camera starts spawning, you know, down and starts pushing you down towards the, uh, the ground. So let's see, I'm still spamming A at this point. I've been spamming A. So now you can stop spamming A because you see the camera's going down. Now you're either going to spawn dead, glitch through the ground or walking or standing everything works it's okay as long as you're in one of those you know you know areas you're fine so i'm gonna spawn in with like a glitched out floor and glitched out world around me this always happens now right away i'm opening up my dashboard and i'm hitting disconnect from the internet go offline i'm coming back to gta i'm in a black screen so now i'm gonna go back to the dashboard and i'm gonna hit reconnect so i'm going back online i'm waiting about five seconds for everything to reconnect and then I'm going back over to GTA, and this is where we're at now. We're at this, uh, you know, this kind of, you know, screen in the clouds. That's the whole glitch right there. So, pretty much, that's the hardest part. I'm telling you, the glitch is fast. It's, it might be really detailed and stuff, but it's super, super quick. So I'm just fast forwarding now because if you get caught in the clouds like I always do right here, what you need to do is keep hitting go offline and then back online in your dashboard and then go back to GTA. If you're not loading into a session yet, just keep doing that over and over and over again. Go offline, go online, go back to GTA, see if it's loading into, into a session yet. And when you finally load into a session, you're going to see this. I just kept doing that over and over again. And now look, the little loading icon at the bottom right and it should now say joining GTA online. That's what you want to see. So now we're actually loading into an online session. I'm going to I'm going to tell you now at this point you don't want to actually you don't want to actually switch to any characters right when you spawn online as your story mode character you want to follow these steps precisely. We've already done the hardest part of the glitch guys, the hardest part. Okay, so check this shit out. So I'm going to spawn down, boom. Franklin pops out of my online character, my online character just starts walking away. All right, that's what you want to see and now he just disappears. So that's it. That's the hard part of the glitch. Now you got the uh, now this is where we start with the solo money glitch. We're gonna be going after the peyote. If you guys don't know what the peyote is, I'm gonna leave a link, two links in the description, a video showing where all the peyotes are on the map, as well as another link showing you. Well, it's a video link and it's a uh, IGN link where they're showing it. They're showing you a map and they kind of pinpoint everything. And this other guy made a video showing you where all of them are in a video and eating them and what they do. All right, now coincidentally, this part of the video also shows you how to play as an animal in online. So you can see right here. So this is where I'm at at the map, right by the Los Santos Customs. The peyote locations will be in a link down in the description. But this one right here, there's a few tips all right, about eating peyote. Now you want to make sure that the peyote that you're actually eating is, it's got to be on a land, you know, it's got to be a land peyote on land, not in the ocean or anything. And it has to be something other than an ocean creature cannot be an ocean creature or it'll crash your game can't be a bird and it can't be a cow this one right here you can actually hear it before you come up to it I heard a pig squeal that's how I knew right away I could do it so this one right here is actually a boar so I'm gonna press right d-pad and eat the peyote once you eat the peyote then you're gonna turn into whatever that one was and in this case it's a boar so check it out now I'm a freaking boar and you can run around online as this it's really cool if you're able to get into a public session which I'm gonna make more videos later today on this glitch because it's so intricate and there's so many things you can do that you know I'm gonna make another video on it you know definitely later today but I wanted to get the solo money glitch out so now that I'm a boar and you can only eat one of these peyotes once once I've gotten this one I can't go back to this one so I gotta go to a new location once you've gotten all of them, they all appear on the map for you, okay? So, that is how the peyotes work. Now, once you have transformed into any uh, one of those animals that you're able to, it's got to be on land, once again, you want to get hit by a car or somehow die, maybe get attacked, another player can kill you, 
if uh, if you invite a friend in there, you know, let the player, well, actually, let them snipe you, you know, from far away, if anything, because you don't want to die close or else the game could crash. What I, what I ended up doing is I just waited for some cars to kind of get in my way so that I can just, you know, see, jump right in front of them and get hit by the car. So that downed my, uh, my health a little bit, so that definitely helps. So <laughs> it looks so funny. I've never played as an animal in online. But, uh, but yeah, so now I'm going to find another car going quick. That one's, you know, I could tell right away she was going quick. So, boom, right there, she hit me, and I'm dead. Now, this is also how you go invisible. So I showed you that in the last one, but in this one, you can't access your weapons or anything like that. In the other one, you can access the wheel and the weapons still. So I definitely, I definitely recommend looking at my other video. But now, all we're going to do is hit online, and we're going to go to swap character. So these are the steps for the solo money glitch. You have to do this every single time you want to do the solo money glitch. So it's a really intricate glitch and it's kind of fun to do, I'm not going to lie, once you get the hang of it. But uh, make sure you set up the apartments in the beginning the way that I showed you so that you can actually hit this properly and you can make the most amount of money. You're going to make about a million and a half dollars every time you do this. So I'd say it's about a million and a half dollars every, I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, still better than any legit making way to make money in GTA Online. Uh, it just takes a little bit of skill and a little bit of practice with this glitch. So now that we're in the swap character, you know, mugshot room, we're going to go ahead and switch on to the second character. So I'm going to go ahead and select my female character where the expensive apartments are. Now, when you select the female character or the second character that you have, this is kind of like the DM glitch, guys. If you guys have ever had any uh, any experience with the director mode glitch, this is basically what you do. So now you want to sit at this loading screen and you want to sit at this loading screen until you eventually get up to an alert. Once you get to that alert, then you're going to go ahead and accept the alert. It might take a few minutes, so I'm just going to you know skip forward, uh, forward to that. But uh, yeah, once we get to that alert that you're going to see right about here, now you're going to time out just like that. You want to stay loading here just for a bit. You, want, you see how the clouds are frozen right now? You want to wait for them to unfreeze. So once they're unfrozen, I say wait another 10 to 15 seconds, maybe even 20 seconds just to be sure. You saw that they're unfrozen now. Now is when you want to go ahead and proceed with the glitch, okay? And I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. Okay, so now once you're at this point and the clouds have unfrozen, you're ready to go ahead and quit the game. So you're going to go ahead and quit your GTA app fully, okay? So quit the app fully. Now, you're going to start the app back up. If you're on PlayStation, go ahead and start the app back up. And you're going to go ahead and hit R1 and L1. I believe, uh, check the description for the exact buttons, but that is going to do the display calibration message. That's what you want. And you're going to go ahead and load into online and proceed with the glitch as you see in the video. Now for Xbox, it's a little bit different. We're going to have to press start on the game, go to manage game, go to your profile and click on it and hit delete from console. Okay. Delete from console only. All right. So then once you start up GCA, you're going to get into this message right here eventually. But before that, you're going to have to hit stop sync. So you cancel the sync and then you stop it, okay? This is for Xbox, this part right here. It's gonna try to sync the game. You're gonna hit cancel and then stop sync and then let the game load up normally. You're gonna get to this display calibration, go ahead and accept it, and now let's move on. So eventually you're gonna end up loading into the prologue because it's like it's a brand new game, you know? I went to go check if I can go online from here and I cannot. So on Xbox, you want to just go ahead and close the app once again. You can do it right when the uh, when the prologue starts, but uh, but yeah, I kind of waited a little bit because I knew I'd be explaining it. But yeah, so go ahead and quit the app completely once again, and then we're gonna start it back up. And when you start it back up, let it sync, let it fully sync, and let it load all your data from the console. It's gonna ask you where do you want to load from. Hit from the console, okay? And once you're back online or once you're back in story mode, you're gonna hit go into an invite only session. Now, this is where PlayStation users are with us right now. So you're going to go ahead and accept the uh, the policy, the game policies right there, the terms and, you know, policies, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, and yeah, once you accept that, it's going to go ahead and shoot you into online. Okay, and once you're online, that's the whole glitch. So now what you'll notice is that the apartments and the outfits from the second character have all transferred over to your first main character. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the apartments and I'm going to buy the three cheapest properties. Now you're going to see what I mean right here if you're confused and never done the apartment glitch. I'm going to pick the three cheapest properties, hit purchase, and look at that. I got the expensive, you know, prices with the cheap names right there. So I buy it over there and look at that. 5.2 million dollars I just got. 
or sorry, not 5.2 mil, $522,000, my bad. Uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna go ahead and hit another cheap apartment, go and buy it over slot five, and I'm gonna get $466,000. And then I'm going to go ahead and buy one more of the cheapest apartments or cheapest properties, put it over slot six and look at that $427,000. And just like that, that's the apartment glitch one and a half million dollars and all the outfits transfer over from the female character. So I will have components for the female characters. If you guys want to make some modded outfits, uh, you know, so you guys can check that out as well. But I just wanted to put everything, you know, a solo money glitch, how to play as an animal in this video right here. More to come, guys. More modded outfits. More more mods. Hopefully they don't patch this today. But, uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this today now that I can finally, you know, have time to play with it. But, yeah, my name is Rolezy. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to smack that blue thumbs up if you did really enjoy the video. Uh, subscribe to me if you're new by hitting the big red button and turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 1,000 subscribers. Let's get it going. Peace out, everybody.